Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Um and we have another snake in our video. So this is who I think is Winston now. After a while we uh, we found him again in George's backyard. Um there's not many snakes that live there, so I'm guessing it's Winston. And yeah, let's just check him out for a little bit. So we found him quite recently, I think maybe like fifteen minutes ago, would you say? Fifteen? Yeah. Twenty maybe? Yeah. Um and here he is. He's quite he's quite fast right now. I have to be careful. He bit me once already. Um, it didn't hurt. It didn't even puncture the skin. But I have to be a little bit careful because that was a little scary. Smile for the camera. So I think it's Winston. It's definitely the same species as Winston and Rainbow. If you haven't checked out the Rainbow video, check that out now. Um, he's got the same. He doesn't really like it when I tip him over, so I'm not gonna do it much. But you can kind of see. Don't like where. Fine, we're fine. There's little lines on his bottom. They, um, I compared them to Winston, and they looked kind of the same. All right. So, um, yeah. And actually, this is not a video mainly about him, but tips about what to do if you find a snake in the wild that you want to make a video about, or just show your friends and family. So, step number one. Once you find the snake. Identify to make sure that it is not venomous, and if you live in an area where there aren't venomous snakes, or many, this shouldn't be a big problem. If you live in the city, definitely, you're going to have trouble finding snakes in the city. But if you live out where I do, um, we have rattlesnakes. It's rattlesnake season right now. It's getting close to summer. It's, the days are hotter. I haven't seen a rattlesnake yet, although I probably will. Um, so, I always have to be careful when I pick something up. I mean, he clearly is not a rattlesnake, but I once approached a king snake that... Um, it was a king snake, but I thought it was a rattlesnake for a little while. So, um, always be careful when approaching a snake. Have a book handy. If you have a book, here is my book that I use. Amphibians and Reptiles of California, Revised Edition. Um, I use that to make sure when I pick up snakes that I'm not 100% sure about picking up. And uh, that's a really good resource to have. Um... Then, second step, when handling the snake, always wash your hands before and after handling. Wash your hands before so that the snake doesn't pick up anything that you have, and wash your hands after so you don't pick up anything the snake might have. Um, he's sitting right here, he's really nice. Um, step three, always be careful in handling a snake, because even though they are quite a muscly creature and are pretty tough, you don't want to hurt them, you wouldn't... They, are, um, they do have sensitive parts. Don't tap their head. Don't tap their nose. Be careful when touching the head. And like, don't um, if the snake shows signs of aggression, if it S's, if it coils up into like an S shape, not like that, but if it goes into an S, that could mean it's about to strike. So always be careful of that. If it's limp in your hand, if, or if it's not limp, but if it's like really calm, it's moving slowly, like he seems pretty calm right now. That means everything's pretty good. Um, there's some tongue flicking. So he is testing out his environment, but um, he seems very calm right now. This is the kind of thing you'd want to have. But if, if he's like going crazy, if he's jumping all, or not jumping, but like slithering all over your hand, if he's tried to bite you, even if it doesn't penetrate your skin, put him down immediately, or she. Um, yeah, if you find a snake in the road, please put it to the other side of the road because you're gonna save that animal's life probably. Um, always put it to the side of the road that it was facing. Uh, it's probably trying to go that way for a reason. So that's just a little tip for all of you snake lovers. Mm. Keep snakes alive. Don't kill them. So keep them out of the road. Mm. It could be sunbathing in the road. So, of course, if you're driving a car, I'm not sure if any of my audience is driving a car, but if you are driving a car, mm, always be careful if you live in an area where you know there are snakes. Did you go get that? Um... Always be careful, and if you live in an area where there are snakes, um, be careful in your driveway. If you have children, keep your children away from snakes unless you know what the snake is. Um, again, that resource, the book, those books are great. That book, um, I'll tell you about it again at the end of the video, so if you want to buy it for yourself, I got it from Amazon. Um, so I'm going to leave you here for a minute. It is Amphibians and Reptiles of California Revised Edition. I'm not sure if the unrevised edition is any worse. It probably is just as less, but 
um, I got the revised edition, and yeah. So, thank you for watching this video. Here are some tips about what to do if you find a snake. I hope this was helpful to you. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!